your copycat data portfolio is probably not going to get you hired. I know that having been in the space for a couple of years now and being an entry level data analyst with a couple different companies, I know that the hotness with e learning platforms and data hiring gurus has been for a long time that you've got to do projects. You got to do projects, you got to build an online portfolio, and that's the skeleton key to getting your first data job. I'm here to tell you that I don't believe that's true. I noticed a trend the other day, and there's a couple of platforms out there that specialize in data, education, data hiring, do all my courses, do your resume this way, all of that. That their graduates kind of all look the same. And I went down this little rabbit hole for a few minutes. I noticed that I keep getting connection requests from the graduates from a certain e-learning platform, a couple out there that I find a bit wonky. But I started looking at LinkedIn profiles of the graduates of this one program. And I started to notice trends. First of all, their banner pictures are all very similar. Like maybe they all got them from the same picture repository. Their headlines are all almost but not quite identical. They're all the exact same format. They might have the skills in kind of a different order, but they're essentially identical for all intents and purposes. Their about section, their everything that's set up on their profile, it's as if they all followed the same very prescriptive playbook. Nothing necessarily wrong with all that. But when I started going into their portfolio, they didn't all have the exact same projects, but the projects were all very formulaic. And the projects were all, there's an Excel workbook with sums and averages and stuff. There's a dashboard that's very pretty. It's very brightly colored. There's not a lot of in-depth analysis. They're looking at very simple data sets. They're making some very simple visualizations. But it's clear that the energy and effort that went into these portfolios went into beautification and not into in-depth analysis. So the vizs are all very pretty, but none of them are very deep. They're just nothing terribly interesting about them. Some of them are about fun topics, so they're cool to look at, but it doesn't reflect any great skill on the part of the practitioner. Folks, there's a great danger to this because that kind of portfolio is not likely to get you hired. Now, I can't guarantee that it won't, but think about it. It took me five minutes of going down a rabbit hole and just clicking through these people and going to people also viewed. Just that person on the right side of your profile that relates to you in some way. And I went through 20 to 25 profiles in the span of a few minutes and their associated portfolios of graduates of a particular e-learning platform. And here's the thing that struck me. Only one of them had a job. Now, some of them had your stock, stock and shelves at Home Depot or something like that, but only one of them had an analytics job. 20 or more profiles. And I'm talking people that graduated from this program three months ago, six months ago, up to a year ago. And they're still not, still got the green banner, still working some Joe job, still not a professional analyst. So if you need proof of concept for that platform, and I won't name it, it's not there. But I will tell you, looking at their profiles and looking at their portfolios, I can see why they're not hired. Because first of all, if I could notice in five minutes of clicking around that they're all following the same shot sheet, playbook, step action drill, whatever, do you not think a hiring manager is gonna notice that? Do you think a data hiring manager is gonna be blown away by your in-depth analysis and box plot of the Titanic data set? Is it gonna be 
some earth-shattering thing that they see that you, along with a million other people, did Alex Freeberg's first Tableau video where he analyzed the COVID mortality data set? No. People in the data space and people that know data content creators know that these things are out there. That that basic Kaggle data set has been analyzed by millions of analysts. You are not going to find anything groundbreaking there. Alex Freeberg's videos from two years ago have been worked and worked and worked by everybody. So if you've got the same dashboard with the same color scheme and the same graphs, and the same titles, you're not doing yourself any favors. You aren't setting yourself apart. Folks, I know a ton of people that are doing everything right in the data analytics space. And they've followed the same playbook as you. They've got their LinkedIn profile filled out. They've got 500 connections. They've got their resume and it's all right. They've got a portfolio website with a bunch of Tableau dashboards and Excel workbooks and maybe a couple of SQL queries. None of that will set you apart. And I think the even more important thing to remember about your portfolio is there's a pretty significant chance that not only will it never get you hired, but no one of any consequence is ever going to look at it. So my recommendation is when you build a portfolio, don't make some prefabricated paint by numbers thing that looks like everybody else's. Go analyze things that interest you. Because if you have that Stepford wife portfolio that looks like everybody else from the same e-learning platform as you, it's very noticeable, it's very obvious, it's very clear that it's for show and not for function. And all it proves to a hiring manager is that you can follow the same playbook as everybody else. You have the capacity to be a number fetcher, not an analyst. So what I would say is build your portfolio for your education according to your interests and what makes you curious. Don't build it according to some e-learning platform, data thought leaders, shot sheet or checklist for what you need to have on a portfolio. Because at the end of the day, you gotta set yourself apart. And I'll leave you with this. If some data thought leader is telling you, do it my way, do everything the way I did it and you will have the same level of success as me, or even implying that, they're selling you a bill of goods. They are trying to make money off of you and they may or may not even care if you ever get hired, other than how it makes them look. Because think about it, there's no formula to get hired. Every situation is different. The hiring space is a system of systems. And two of those systems are you and your unique set of circumstances. So if you're following, if you're trying to follow me, if I start an e-learning platform and say, do it the way that I did it, there's two problems there. A, you're not me. And B, you can never replicate the unique set of circumstances that I faced in getting hired. My first data analytics job was at Analyte. I can't tell you how to get hired at Analyte. I can tell you what their hiring process is, but I can't tell you to do it my way because A, you're not me, and B, you can't replicate the unique set of circumstances that got me hired. Same thing at Alteryx. I've only been at Alteryx a few months. People come to me all the time and say, how do I get hired at Alteryx? No idea. Not a clue. Why? I can't tell you how to do it like me because you're not me, and you'll never have the set of circumstances that I faced. For one thing, the person that hired me is no longer with the company. So I would just say, get out there, like Matt Bratton says, you just gotta analyze stuff. Go out there and find something that you're curious about, find a problem that you see that's unsolved, and try to solve it. Because the portfolios that are impressive are the ones that are not for show. The portfolios that are impressive are the ones that grab you and say, I did this because I'm curious. I analyzed something and came to a conclusion or not, and then presented that in some sort of interesting fashion. Not, 
I made pretty pictures because some data thought leader told me to follow steps one through 10. Folks, if you got questions about that, I'm not trying to poke any individual person in the chest. If you find an e-learning platform that works for you, if you find a data, data thought leader that you wanna follow, be my guest. You spend your money and your time and energy however you see fit. But I would just say be careful, know the space that you're in, know what people's motivations are. If you're buying an e-learning platform, if you're buying a course from some thought leader, most likely their number one motivation is to make money and to feed their family. There's nothing wrong with that. But just remember that your success is of a secondary concern for them. And make sure you're looking out for yourself. So get out there, analyze things that interest you. Semper Fidelis and I'll talk to you later.